Hey guys, so I'm here today to tell you how you can do levitation shots. So um, I got a lot of questions after I uploaded my last lot of levitation shots. I thought it would be easier to just explain it in a video than it would be trying to do it over a text post. So there are a few things that you're going to need today. A camera, a bit of an obvious one, a tripod, and either a chair or a stool. Um, now, I think a stool would be a lot easier for, you know, balancing on, um, but I don't have one, so I use step ladders and Photoshop. Now, levitation shots are actually pretty easy. All you need to do is do one photo with you on a chair posing, and then um, you do another shot in the same position, which is why you need a tripod, and um, you just, you know, combine the two in Photoshop. Now today um, I'm making it a little bit more complicated because I'm going to combine three shots um, because I want my body to be like, so my hands are up here like this, um, but I cannot do that because I only have a step ladder, so I'm going to shoot um, one photo with one leg in the air and the next with the other leg in the air and then I can combine all three to make it look like I'm floating. So I place my step ladder around here. So that's all for the shooting process. Okay, so as you can see, I've completed the image already, and I'm just going to go back over and show you how to do it. So as you can see, I've already combined the legs, and <laughs> yeah, this takes a lot of layers. So if you see what I've done, you can see where I have basically taken a rubber over the layer um, with the step ladder in but then um, it leaves the colors looking different so the bricks don't line up, there's weird shadows everywhere so you're going to need to fix that. So um, as you can see zooming in helps a lot because as it's bricks as well you've got to line them up. Glass is the worst so if you're doing this for the first time I would definitely go on a plain white wall. So with the clone start tool I always bring the opacity down a little bit this means the change isn't as harsh and it looks more natural. And then I go back over with the patch tool. Um, I always go destination to source, um, but apparently that's not the normal thing. <laughs> and so if you're not, still the colors aren't lining up, you could go to the dodge tool and make the opacity low and then just slightly bring up, the, you know, the highlights or the shadows or you could desaturate the colors with the sponge tool. Um, okay, I found going over the bottom with like the grass and bits, that helped. And then the burn tool, it brings up the colors. So I found in the cracks of the bricks, that helped because they went a little gray when I was changing over everything. So I'm going up layer by layer, and I'll show you how the stages. Because I already did record this video, but then it didn't save. So I didn't want to go through two hours again. So it's all about subtle changes. Um, so do a few things, then start a new layer, and just keep working until you're happy with it. Um, admittedly, I'm actually quite a messy editor, and I don't like going into a huge amount of details. But with stuff like this, you just have to. So this is my final image. You should see I've messed with the colors. I've cropped it differently. Um, and it's odd to think how different the images started off because, you know, it was, I am so unflexible. And so I was just trying to get my leg as straight as possible and point those toes. So this is a typical pose I was trying.